my name is Celine and welcome back to the Little Readers Corner. Today I'm sharing my September TBR and before you get on me about it being, you know, the middle of September already, I hope you also realize that my scenery has changed. So I just flew back to my home on Maui and I'm going to be staying here inevitably. So I am quarantined right now for the next two weeks as the state mandates, so I'm not leaving my apartment. My parents so kindly filled my fridge before I got here, and therefore I'm a little behind on the YouTube things because I had to deal with getting on a plane and moving all my stuff and packing boxes and packing suitcases and unpacking and then being alone with just my own thoughts and myself. So anyways, let's get into the TBR. So I am participating in one readathon this month, so I'll be talking about that. Uh, I'm also doing two secret TBRs. So actually, the books you're seeing on this TBR, it's not all of them, but you know, secret. So uh, you won't you won't see it for a little bit, but that's fine. That's all good. So for the readathon, I will be participating in Adventures Through Wonderland, which is a readathon that's happening this month in September, and it is co-hosted by A Touch of Whimsy Book Club, which I'm the moderator for, and it is hosted by Lexi from Alexander Roslin and Kaylin from Kaylin Abridged, and the other co-hosts of the readathon is Middle Grade Monthly, and that's J.D. Ray Reads and Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. That actually has a cute little map, which I'm just gonna pull up right here. So it is this adorable map that they commissioned an artist to create for them and actually I really love how versatile the prompts are for this readathon because I will just be reading two books for the prompts and there is a cute prompt for a reading snack which I'll be sharing in a vlog and then uh, to participate in the live show which since I moderate the live shows I'll be there anyways having a good good time. So the first prompt is Down the Rabbit Hole which is basically a book that takes place in another world and for that prompt I will be reading Thieves of Weirdwood which I'm actually buddy reading with Lexi so that's gonna be really fun. Um, then the next prompt is Flower Garden, which is an aesthetic book, and for this I'm going to be using the group book, which is Train to Impossible Places, which sounds super cute and I love the cover. I don't currently have it, but it is coming in a Barnes & Noble order next week, so I'm really excited to get started on that. Next is the reading snack prompt, which is Eat Me, Drink Me, which I don't know what my reading snack is going to be yet, but it's going to be cute and fun and delicious. Next up is White Rabbit's House, and that is a cozy night in read. So for that one and the next one, actually, I will be using Train to Impossible Places. So the next prompt is Queen of Hearts Palace, which is a book that I think I will love. I'm very optimistic. I hope I'm gonna love Train to Impossible Places. It sounds super cute, so. I'm really excited to get going on that one. And then the last bookish prompt is Cheshire Cat, which is to read something strange and mysterious. So the plot of Thieves of Weirwood actually sounds pretty strange and mysterious, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that right now. So basically the pitch of the series is it's about these two kid thieves and they're going into this weird battle between the real world and the imaginary world. So these two kid thieves, Arthur and Wally, both have to deal with these immense hospital bills, I think from Wally's brother and Arthur father and then one time they see these really rich fabulous looking people exiting this mansion and they decide that this would be a really great way to get that money for their medical bills so they decide to go in and rob the place but then there's this whole magical concept about the real and imaginary worlds and that becomes this whole battle between them so they go into the manor and there's all these weird creatures in there and something goes on, the plot thickens, it continues. So I'm so excited to read that one. So Train to Impossible Places is about Frederick and Susie. And this train basically goes to impossible places. <sighs> Never would have guessed. But Susie boards the train and she ends up kind of being like the postmaster general and she has to make deliveries with this train. And then Frederick's like trapped in a snow globe and Susie has to make this delivery to this evil lady evil lady crepuscula, I think? Something like that. So it sounds really cute and whimsical and I'm really excited to read it. So those are the two books that I will be reading for the adventures through Wonderland Readathon. I'm so excited. It sounds so cute. I'm so excited for the live show. It's going to be a little tea party. I'm going to get all dressed up. I'm going to have some tea. It's going to be so fun and cute. I'm so excited. Next up for my September TBR, I will be reading 
the adventure zone volume three pedals to the metal so this is as you may have guessed third volume in the adventure zone graphic novel series if you've been watching any of my vlogs you will know that i just finished volume one and two absolutely love them i've been listening to the podcast these are based off of the dungeons and dragons podcast by the mcelroy family they're super fun if you're at all interested in dungeons and dragons check out the podcast check out the graphic novels they're so much fun so it's basically about our three characters and they go on these missions to get these magical artifacts that's all i'm gonna say on it because the plot really develops from the first book and it just keeps on going. This looks like there's gonna be some kind of racing thing going on in it. I've already read quite a little bit of it and I am loving it. Next up during September, I'm going to be reading the Fence graphic novel series. If you're like Soleil, you've read Fence. Yes, I have. However, the fourth volume just came out. It's called Rivals and I really can't wait to read it, but my memory is absolute garbage. So I don't remember everything that happened in the first three. So I'm going to reread the first three volumes and then I'm going to start the fourth one. These are very short, very short. It makes me kind of upset just a little. The only real downside that I think to these graphic novels is that they are very short. However, for a reread, and especially since I'm starting September in the middle of September, that's going to come in handy for me. So this is going to be great. I'm really excited to read these. If you don't know what these about, well, I'm going to give you one good guess. Fencing. You're right. Congratulations. So yes, this is about fencing. Um, I believe it takes place in a high school. Looks like. I think it takes place like senior year of high school with a lot of these characters. Let's see. Um, here are some of the characters. It has really awesome representation and also some inclusivity. There's also a non-binary character throughout this series. So if that's what you're looking for in a graphic novel, then check these out. But as I mentioned, they're about fencing. So if you don't care about fencing, this might not be the graphic novel series for you because it is, it is, it's just, it's fencing is what it is. It's fencing. So if you're into the technique and all the other fun things that comes with fencing, this is the one for you. Next up, I will finally be getting to this book because, um, it doesn't matter what else is on my TBR because this is basically my number one priority and that is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. So this has been on my TBR for a month or two but since I was moving I basically had to prioritize the digital books and the audiobooks that I had and unfortunately I couldn't get this one as an audiobook. So I will finally be reading this this month. I can't wait. I've heard so many amazing things. It sounds like such a cute romance. So this is about Liz Lightly and she really wants to go to this university but she really needs to get a scholarship or some kind of financial aid if she can make it there. She just got her financial aid letter back and it's not looking too good. So she decides that she is going to run for prom queen because there is an amazing scholarship for whoever wins prom queen. However, there's a new girl in school who is also going to be participating and there might be a little bit of a cute romance happening there. So I can't wait to read this. It's happening, folks. It's finally going to happen, and I'm so excited about it. And the last book on my TBR is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I am buddy reading this with Olivia Savannah from Olivia's Catastrophe, and we actually read Clap When You Land together, and that is another book by Elizabeth Acevedo. We really love her work, and... I'm so excited to be able to read another one with Olivia. It's going to be so much fun. We actually just started reading this, so we're going to try to pace ourselves with about 40 pages per day so we can kind of stick on the same schedule and it's going to be a good time. So this is actually not written in prose poetry, which I had originally thought it was. Um, this is written in a standard novel format but I really enjoy Elizabeth Acevedo's prose and just the way she writes, the way she creates characters. They're always very vivid. So I'm very excited to read this. This is about Emoni Santiago and it's about her raising her daughter and living with her abuela and a whole lot of cooking. That is what I know about the plot. I want to keep it vague. I want to be surprised. So we just started reading this and I can't wait to see what happens throughout. 
So those are the books that I am reading in September. Please let me know if you are reading any of these books. If you have any recommendations for me, let me know. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see how I'm enjoying these videos, how I'm enjoying the adventures through Wonderland. It's going to be a really fun time. And I'll link all the information for that readathon as well as the hosts down below in case you're interested in participating. I don't think it's too late to get started. I haven't even started on my TBR. It's the middle of September what can i say this is just the way life works so if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to see some more things i hope you have a wonderful day and otherwise i hope the sun shines on a book that you're reading today thanks bye